Hey, Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let's get into your messages. Um, sorry for the delay. I got a little energy. Well, I got more. I feel much better <clears throat> than how I felt yesterday. Um, let's get into your reading. Okay. I haven't logged in for work yet, so I got a few minutes before I got to punch in. I wanted to get everybody's reading out in the morning and just upload it, because I don't know what's going to happen when I'm on call. But anyway, uh, the, first set four, uh, the first four cards I got for you is the Three of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Six of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Be careful, Pisces. I don't know if this is your ego or somebody else trying to stroke your ego or create or geek you up to do some stupid shit. That's what it looked like to me. Um, somebody may be trying to geek you up. They could be telling you the truth. You could be in a position of power. You could be, you know, somebody that needs clarity or directions or maybe even assistance on something or just getting bad advice something like that somebody may be trying to come towards you to like uh, appear to be as if they're trying to be helpful but really they're giving you bad advice or geeking you up to do something that's gonna backfire so be careful with this uh, three of cups five of wands a off the record conversation could end up resulting into some actions or a conversation that's going to result being on the record and not you being looked at in a positive way. So be careful what you say. Be careful of your actions, how you respond, how you talk to people. All of that counts right now for some reason. This could have something to do with a social group or a professional networking circle. If you trying to run somebody up out of a situ out of a place or I don't know if somebody's geeking you up to doing this, it's gonna backfire. I'm warning you. If somebody is trying to geek another person up to do this to you, I'm telling you it's not gonna go the way these people expect it to go. Like this is just not gonna work out that way. Now I do see with the sacrifice of somebody else being um being made is bringing you victory with the death in the chariot but it's gonna it's hey if this is a work situation it's a lot of restructuring that's bringing something down It's bringing something to an end and helping another person progress and move forward victoriously possibly moving on leaving something in shambles for the remaining people there to clean up something like that if it's a work situation if this is a, a social circle of you know a friendship group or something like that Still in awe. Um, it looks like a, a, a social group is going to uh, disband, you know, go in disarray, and you'll be moving forward either way. Something is definitely changing. And another person is going to get called out for their deception and manipulation of a situation or attempt to manipulate a situation. A Cancer, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Aries, a, um, a, another past that could be involved. Don't let these people geek you up to do no dumb shit. If they feel so passionate about something, they need to do it themselves. But they won't. They'll keep talking about it, trying to get you to do something. And uh, you may have some pull, you may have some influence, whether it's in a social group or a networking professional group. But you should not stick your neck out for this shit. I'm telling you now. Why is this? Okay. Ah, oh, I was about to ask why is the five of wands here and I got the star. So, you know, things will balance itself out, come to a resolve, and there's something to look forward to, but it's gonna come with chaos whether you get involved with it or not. So why would you involve yourself into it? 
you, this is somebody that's looked at in a positive light getting bad attention. See what I'm saying? And you don't want to be recognized on a huge, on a broad scope for some stupid petty shit. You know, you don't want to do that. It don't matter. Personal, professional, whatever setting it is. It's just not you associating yourself with this is going to make you look crazy. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse? The Eight of Swords in reverse. Hmm. You stepping aside and let somebody fight their own battles or vouch for themselves is going to help them grow up, get out of their head, and stop them from feeling stuck because they're really not. Somebody may want you to stick your neck out and rescue them, and it jeopardizes and sabotages you in the process, and they just in the shadows looking like, well, I didn't know him and 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 him after the damage is done, that don't even matter. Something telling me to clarify the death before the chariot, although the chariot is before death. All right. Queen of Cups, the Hierophant in reverse, and the High Priestess. Woo! Some of y'all are very intuitive. You can have a uh, high Pisces water placements in your chart as well as uh, Cancer and Taurus placements. But please understand the assignment. Do not go against the grain. Don't try to like force no signatures or, 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 or move some stuff around. Somebody being watched. Somebody that's uh, overseeing things that you may not be aware of or this person may not be aware of is watching. And when if something gets out of order, it's leaving a paper trail and you're going to get called out. You or whoever you associated with going to get called out for it. All right, let's move forward. I think we touched on this enough. Uh, let's see what else is going on. We got Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer again, Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Leo again, Cancer again. Ooh, hair all in my face. This is <laughs> all right. All right, Pisces. Let's see what else is going on in your life or what you need to be aware of November this week, sometime this month, you know. All right. The three of wands in reverse and the higher front in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit, what is this in regards to? Friendship, love, what? Money. Friendships. A Sagittarius, a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Aries could be involved. You may need to stay away from these energies because they could change your fate. Somebody is not being honest with the way that they feel about you or um, whatever type of organization that you are associated with. Um, somebody in your circle lives a double life and they're not telling you about the things that they do when they're not around you, but it could affect you when you're out and about with this person. And they could be any of those signs. Your finances is growing too. Somebody, if you are popular or you have resources and you're known for something, you know, respectful or you're, 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 you have a, a well-known skill set at something that people really rely on and, and congratulate you for or recognize you for, something like that. Somebody is trying to ride your coattails. And it could change your fate. I'm going to move forward. What can Pisces expect when it comes to love?
seven of cups in reverse and the sun Ooh, that's a hell of a turnaround the page of pentacles the upright that's a hell of a turnaround the tower the queen of cups in reverse and a magician in reverse Ooh, honey i will be very cautious and a very secretive when it comes to my love affairs past present anything you got coming up in the future especially if you have a friend that's a scorpio a virgo a gemini a leo a cancer or taurus honey another pisces too mm -hmm. i will be cautious about that because you go from having shitty love options to not a valuable option in sight can you see to having a really just clicking with somebody out of nowhere it starts off small talk casual conversation or whatnot and then it grows into something more meaningful and out the blue people start falling to the wayside being funny towards you it depends on how much you share about this with other people you may have a common friend you may meet your partner your future partner through one of these signs one of these friends or associates and you got to be careful with what you tell this person about your you know how you engage with this new lover because they will go behind the scenes and bad mouth your ass to manipulate the situation from going any further out of flat out jealousy because what you don't see coming gemini energy lovers in reverse at the bottom of the deck be careful i'm just getting friends how many of us have them friends the ones we can depend on you i'm telling you these ain't your friends. These ain't your friends, honey. Misery love company, and they want you to be part of a misery gang. You know, when they get to talk about they, how they people ain't right, you be like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. They want you to be like that. They want you to stay bitter, part of the bitter bitch clique, part of the bitter ninja clique, you know. They, they want you to stay on their team. You passing happy? the hell what do you mean these people crazy man but now that we know that let's talk about this sun let's talk about this uh this energy here spirit can you describe this person that's coming to us Pisces, sun moon rising and venus y'all can have leo placements in your natal chart you should look that up Eight of Wands in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody, the person that's going to hook you up with this person, <laughs> might have already badmouthed this person before y'all met each other, were properly introduced. You might have already been badmouthed to this person from whenever, whoever this mutual friend is that's going to more than likely introduce y'all. So this person is coming in with one perception of you and going to end up seeing a whole other perception. It's going to make them look at the, the third party, the other person, like, uh, you sure Pisces like this? Because I don't get that from Pisces, honey. You sure it ain't your ass that's like this? Describing Pisces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> child <laughs> this is just terrible it's like <laughs> the matchmaker then turn hater honey anyway no that's out the way their perception is changing to you let's talk more about it ace of wands let's get this started the devil in reverse the tower in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse they gonna start telling you that person business well <laughs> well hey <laughs> so with the devil in reverse the tower in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse yeah <laughs> Are they still trying to smash? Are they still sexually attracted to you? 
Yes. Are they curious to still find out if some of the things that they have heard about you are true? Yes. Are they going to find it? No. The tower is in reverse. You know what I'm saying? So they still just trying to get more information and learn more about you and understand you better. But they're going to start whistling and talking about this person to you. The, uh, yeah, the Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus. Let's go to the oracles. Then I'm going to pull some uh, messages on your finances. abundance you've done all the work abundance flows to you now that's what's up so you know i really don't have to go into finances like get ready for some money to come or your financial situation to change it, it says if you you've done all the work you've done the work abundance flows to you now so if you are cross washing for a positive you got it in your chart you whatever this refers this is talking about people that have done the work doing the work so let this be a message if if you're not on your job you need to get on your job things will improve with effort being made and then you got play hard at the bottom of the deck maybe some of y'all are doing that too much and you may be missing out on opportunities that will push you towards you know financial abundance you know so really prioritize your time don't just spend all your money playing around save it invest it and do what you need to do party hard play hard work hard in moderation just don't blow it all in the club just don't blow it all at the mall you know out to eat door dashing sitting down tipping people all these ridiculous amounts of dollars you know, just be cautious with how you spend your money but for the ones that's already been in grind mode working hard focused get ready get ready it's coming all right, now are we gonna get love messages? Cause that's what I, you know, chose to step for it. Get ready to take a leap of faith. It is safe to make the move that you are considering. So keep moving forward, trust your intuition, demand your respect, keep them boundaries healthy, you know? And uh, wow, this person is, it's gonna be hard for lovers and people that you court to, not be sexually aroused around you it's going to be hard for them to not be sexually aroused around you this could be you somebody is going to have to respect another person's boundaries although both of y'all may want to do the deed you know and you know bang bang stuff bang 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 bang, bang. but you should wait you should have them wait too. Okay. Okay. You got integrity. See what I'm saying? Does this situation align with your values and morals? Remember that. And remember, you are protected, but you need to still, you know, display them healthy boundaries and do things accordingly. And everything else will work out in your favor. You are safe and divinely guided. Okay. All right. Let's start. I'm gonna do a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna do some uh, money messages. See what's going on with that. Wow, people being generous to you. You could be going on a vacation or taking some time off. What I call a staycation, giving and receiving. Sudden windfall. People being generous to you. That's good. The the, the your work is not going unnoticed. Whatever you um, are working on with the candle here, this could be you manifesting money. Your rituals will pay off. You will see opportunities to make money be presented to you in the near future, left and right. Take advantage of them. Uh, do your due diligence. Investigate. See if it's worth your time or whatnot. Take advantage of it if it is. Uh, definitely the more action that you take, the more work you put into something is definitely paying off. Especially if some of you guys could be uh, thinking about doing some type of fitness channel or fitness business, go for it, you know? It'll put you in a high-ranking position. Some of you guys are flat out getting promoted or some type of pay raise, too. So I like it. Yep, it just said it at the bottom of the deck. Spiral talks about 
uh, somebody climbing up the ladder, maybe even revisiting a job, but getting a promotion. And make sure that you associate yourself with people that are game changers, you know. Uh, you, uh, watch the company that you keep, especially in a professional setting, because um, you may be intelligent, very uh, equipped and qualified for a role, but in some cases, unfortunately, it's not what you know, it's who you know. So make sure you stay, you know, on good terms with people that can help get some things going in the right and a favorable direction for you. All right, let's see. What are your crystal healing messages? Answer prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. Keep moving forward. Love life at the bottom of the deck. I like it. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. It's coming, baby. And you also have revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll find, I'm sorry, as you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. The truth will always come out. Somebody may try to like tarnish your reputation or they may try to get people to look at you in a not so great way, but it'll always come out what's really going on. All right, your last two cards are Own Your Divine Power, Replace Codependent People Pleasing with Assertiveness and Empowerment. So, yep. You don't have to go along to get along. Speak your truth. Don't be afraid to tell people no. Don't just tolerate people because you don't want to be by yourself. Do not stop God from answering your prayers. And sometimes them prayers are answered by removing something to fill it with something better in its place. Please let that process to happen and trust it um, with purification and detoxification. This talks about you cleaning yourself out, maybe even actually doing a detox, changing your diet, exercising, and getting shit out of your life. Some people are just, in your life need to be detoxed. We've been talking about that throughout the reading. So it's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. It don't get no clearer. It don't get no clearer. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Why am I so goofy? Okay, so your last angel answer message. Some of you guys may know who this is already. And you may want to take action after you watch this reading, after you get whatever confirmation elsewhere that you may need. Don't do nothing. Let the divine do it for you. It's not the right time. What you need to be focusing on is your money, abundance, okay? You got all the time in the world to do that. You got all the time in the world to focus on being productive. Make sure that you remain positive and get rid of people that, 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 that feel otherwise. You know, they can go. You know, it's going to be a no for somebody, so get ready to reject somebody. You may have thoughts in your mind about whoever this is already and know in your heart that you should start detaching or, you know, falling back in some kind of way. This is confirmation for that. It's going to be a no. The angels support that. And then you get ready for big, happy changes. This is why you can't allow people to knock you off your frequency of high vibration. You can't. You too close to getting something. And it may be a little he say, she say shit in the makes, you know, in the process of you getting that, but let it happen because it's showing you who going to be able to cross that, th you know, uh, cross that threshold with you and go to the next level and who's just going to have to get left behind. So I really hope that this helped you. I love you to pieces, pass it. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day and I will see y'all for the next 48 tomorrow.
Okay, give me a kiss. Bye.